Now, in that lawsuit designed to stop President Biden's student loan forgiveness program. We first told you about the lawsuit yesterday that was filed here in Indianapolis. Now we're learning more about the law firm behind the suit. IT mate's Jasmine Miner has that story. Frank Garrison's attorney says this student loan forgiveness program will do nothing for him except to make him pay a one-time state tax payment of $1,000. And they say he represents a larger population all facing the same issue. It's the elimination of thousands of dollars. So what's the big deal? See, it's a little presumptuous to think, well, people can surely afford $1,000 now. In Garrison's case, he'll receive up to $20,000 in student loan forgiveness through Biden's plan. But it's something he was already receiving in four years through the public service loan forgiveness program. Is he's actually going to just get a $1,000 uh, tax bill extra in April, but he's not going to get any benefit out of this. It's because Indiana is one of six states to tax loan forgiveness as income. Garrison is an employee for the nonprofit Pacific Legal, who is also representing him in the lawsuit. Michael Poon is Garrison's colleague and attorney on the case. He says the student loan forgiveness program came from the Secretary of Education, not the president, and that the agency doesn't have the right to make that decision. And Congress can't then tell, tell the executive branch, oh, but in certain circumstances, you can just ignore the law. Education Secretary Miguel Cardona has said he has the legal authority to cancel debt for people who faced hardship during the pandemic. White House Press Secretary Karine Jean-Pierre said anyone will be able to opt out of that cancellation. However, questions about the firm's political ties have also come to light. The firm currently accepts funds from right-wing billionaire Charles Koch. What is your response to that, that this is, this is to help someone and not a political agenda. So I can't comment on um, who our donors are or what they've uh, given or anything like that. But what I can say is I would ask those people to look at our work. We've consistently been trying to hold the government accountable across administrations, across political parties. So I really don't think this is a partisan issue. I think this is an issue of the separation of powers and how we're supposed to be able to govern ourselves. Along with Indiana, Wisconsin, Minnesota, Missouri, Arkansas, and North Carolina will tax loan forgiveness as income. I did ask the attorneys if they are planning to add anyone else to this lawsuit. They tell me that Garrison is currently the only one listed and Garrison declined our comment for this story. I'm Jasmine Miner for Wish TV, ITMA.